Hey guys, Kano here from Move, Train, Perform. I gave a uh, presentation to CrossFit Active coaches this morning, um, talking about uh, when the ideal situation is to refer into a health provider like Move, Train, Perform. And it got me thinking about what makes us as Move, Train, Perform different to any other uh, physical therapy, chiropractic practice. And the, the, the fundamental difference that I can see is that the foundation of the business is built on, on my expertise, which is movement correction and injury prevention, not on treating pain. So if you have a sore shoulder or you have a sore neck or you have a sore back, you go and see a physio, a chiro, a massage therapist, osteopath, wherever, you can go to see any, anywhere and, and they'll most likely be able to help you. Now, if you, to, if you presented to any chiro, any physio, any massage therapist, um, on the street and you said, I'm not in pain, but I have a lot of trouble um, with my overhead position when I receive a snatch. Can you help? A lot of those guys, they, you know, a lot of people would be like, what's a snatch? I don't really understand. Um, or if you say, oh, I really, I've just hit a wall with my max effort kipping pull-ups. I want to find out if there's something that I can improve or change to, to continue to improve that. Um, that's where we're different. We can do that. That's where we, our specialty lies. Like, yes, we can manage pain and we can get you pain free, but the specialization comes in in terms of uh, appraising the movement pattern, figuring out what's going on, um, and then in giving you a system of, of activity or exercises to do to be able to address uh, the, the dysfunction. So when and how people progress into pain is something that if you have a better understanding of, you can really head things off the pass. So ideally in our, in our business, if we saw 100% of our clients coming through the door uh, for injury prevention, I'd be a very, very happy guy. But it's not the case. Unfortunately, people leave things, they hang on and they hang on and until it's painful, and then once it's painful, then they come in and they, they see us. Sometimes they wait for it to get even worse before they come in and see us. So I just wanted to go through a simple uh, flow to, ex to, to sort of highlight to you how you can identify um, if there's some issues that you've got that need to be um, addressed to prevent uh, the onset of injury or pain. So down the bottom here, we have a really happy camper, happy smiley face. This is our perfect functional mover. This is the ideal. This is where everybody wants to be. We want to be able to come up, we want to come into training, hit it hard, enjoy ourselves, not feel any joint pain, not feel any nervy pain, not feel you know stiff and sore in the joints or uh, not be able to get out of bed properly the next day. We just want muscles from us. We want to be, be better every day. This guy is going to achieve that. There's always a small risk of injury, just uh, freak incidents, but ultimately this guy's and girl's movement quality isn't going to be the cause of their problems. Now, between perfect and painful, there's a big gray area of participation um, with dysfunction. And I like to call this area this dysfunctional, non-painful area. So you've got things going on that are limiting your performance, they're predisposed, they're increasing your risk of injury, um, they're kind of ho just holding you back generally at achieving a standard or achieving a range of motion, um, but they don't cause you pain. They just, they're just there. They just a feel like a little roadblock or a little speed bump and you're like, I just have a lot of difficulty with overhead position. I just have a lot of difficulty with getting below parallel. It's not painful, don't hurt my knees, I just struggle with range. Now, in this area here, it can be confusing as to why you've got this um, why you have these little roadblocks, you're not sure what it is, whether it's range of motion, whether it's stability, whether it's motor control, what the element is that's missing, but you can just forge on without worrying in your mind because nothing hurts. I'm not injured, I'm not in pain. So we push on. Now what happens is that dysfunction can build as you layer on more and more intensity and more and more load, and that dysfunction reaches a bit of a threshold of tolerance where your joints or your ligaments or the tendons or the, the, the capsule around the joints just go, you know what, this is a bit too much for me, this is a bit too much dysfunction, and you bump over the line into this painful range. Typically at first, you bump over the line, you have a rest day, you bump back down the line, you drop back into a nice little happy place down here. And the training volume goes on, you bump back up, you go a little bit higher, you drop back down. And what happens is then this starts to move further and further up, the dysfunction, until you're always hanging out in this painful range. So every time I squat, now it hurts. Every time I jump, now it hurts. Now this area, this is, this, the pain is just an alarm bell. It's going, the dysfunction is too much, the dysfunction is too much. 
you've got to change something. You have to change something because my, I can't tolerate this anymore. Your brain is trying to tell you something has to change. Now, in this phase here, you can still make some really good progress. You just need to, you need to modify some activities. So there's going to be some mods and there's going to be some low level rehab, potentially. Uh, along with your corrections, along with your movement dysfunction corrections. Still in this zone here, we're pretty happy. Like if we can, this is our priority one. If we can get people identifying that they've got a roadblock or a dysfunction that's non-painful earlier on, this is where we want to capture you because we can get you down here. Once you're up here, you got to then just go through some low level rehab. You got to modify your activity for a little while. We got to let things simmer down so that, so that pain doesn't continue to progress. Now, if you're the sort of person that's like, pain is just a part of training, I've got this. I'm gonna push on, my knees hurt, but I'm a hard bastard, I can carry on, I don't need to worry about pain. You keep pushing on, this range keeps escalating until you cross over here and you're into structural compromise. The inflammation to the capsule, to the joints, to the ligaments, to the tendons, to whatever it may be, the nerve signals, the firing, it's just, everything's getting overloaded, something breaks down, something tears, something strains, something sprains, and you have an injury. This is where everybody's unhappy. Here, there's no low level rehab. There's not just a little bit of modification. Once you're injured, you're injured. You have to let the tissue heal. This is really changed activity. Heavy modification and time. You have to give yourself time to heal. The body has to heal, it can't just miraculously change overnight once you've had a structural compromise. In these areas here, we're in a functional uh, deficiency area. So if the problem is functional, it sits below this area. We can, we can change that by improving your range of motion, improving your stability, improving your motor control, improving your movement patterns generally so that you can load faster, harder, heavier, longer, everything you need to do to be a better athlete. Once you're up here and you have structural compromise, you got a timeout. You've got to take a step back, you've got to change what you're doing, you've got to let the tissue heal, you've got to let yourself recover, you've got to do all the right things to make sure you maximize your return so that when you get back, you can start working to push yourself all the way back down into this perfect functional mover phase again. If you rehab so that the tissue heals just enough so that it's not painful, then you're only going to end up just back here somewhere and it's a very short period of time until you bump back into painful. The dysfunction that underlies the pain is what has to be changed. So MTP, we specialize in movement dysfunction. We specialize in this area. This area is like your foundation to injury prevention, to high performance, to improving your technique, to improving just about everything when it comes to a physical capacity. So have a think about your progression, where you're going to head things off at. Um, if you can be get catching yourself in this dysfunctional, non-painful area, you're like, I've got some roadblocks that I need unblocked, you are going to make the biggest change possible in here before things get out of control. Um, apply it to yourself, apply it to your clients, apply it to your, your PT clients, apply it to your CrossFit classes. Think about the people around you and where they fit. If they need help with it, try to help them. Send them to somebody who knows, send them to a physio, chiro, exercise physiologist. Somebody who understands the movement demands of that sport and understands the, the movement demands um, of what you're trying to do with them as well. So, MTP, we live down here. We dabble up here, but we want to spend all our time down here. So if you've got some movement dysfunction, come along, see us. We'll assess you, get you moving better, and uh, make you a better athlete. Any questions, uh, comments, hit them below. Uh, thanks, guys. Speak soon.